For over two years, the James Webb Telescope has been delving into the deepest mysteries of the cosmos, uncovering structures that, based on our current understanding, should not exist in their observed forms. As our existing models reach their limits, a theory championed by British physicist and Nobel laureate Roger Penrose gains relevance. According to Penrose, the Big Bang was not the absolute beginning, but rather a dramatic transition between two cosmic eras. Penrose firmly believes that the universe undergoes a continuous cycle of destruction and rebirth, and intriguingly, recent discoveries appear to support his claim. But what about the enigmatic Hawking points, which, as Penrose suggests, are the remnants of a preceding cosmos? While many experts theorize that the universe is infinite, our perception of it is inherently limited. From Earth's perspective, we can only observe an incredibly small fraction of the whole. This spherical field of vision is known as the observable universe, representing the region from which light and information have reached us since the Big Bang. Given that this cosmic event occurred 13.8 billion years ago, one might assume that our observational boundary, the event horizon, is also 13.8 billion light years away. However, this assumption is incorrect. Since the dawn of time, the cosmos, meaning space itself, has been continuously expanding. As a result, previously traveled distances have been stretched, leading scientists to estimate the observational horizon at an astonishing 46.3 billion light years. What makes this even more fascinating is that every point in the universe has its own unique observable universe. In other words, if an advanced civilization exists billions of light years away, it would have access to regions of space that will forever remain beyond our reach. Due to this cosmic limitation, scientists can only theorize about what lies beyond our field of vision. While some believe that distant regions resemble our local universe, Others argue that these unobservable depths might be far stranger than we can fathom. This notion of the unknown was reinforced by a recent discovery made by the James Webb Telescope, a black hole that defies all expectations. Designated LID 568, this colossal gravitational entity formed just 1.5 billion years after the Big Bang yet it consumed matter at a rate 40 times faster than current theories deem possible. However, this bizarre finding is not an isolated anomaly. Rather, it fits into a growing pattern of perplexing observations. Scientists have now identified several black holes that seem far too massive for their early formation periods. Among them is the Quasar J 1120-0641, an active galactic nucleus from the cosmic dawn that already exceeds a billion solar masses. Yet when researchers examined it more closely using Webb's mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, they found no unusual feeding mechanism to explain its extraordinary size, leaving them with even more questions than answers. It turns out that we simply do not understand how a supermassive black hole could have reached full maturity when the universe was only 5% of its current age. Since our existing models failed to explain these cosmic, premature babies in the observable universe, scientists must explore new theories. Some of these ideas have the potential to reshape our understanding of the cosmos, as highlighted by astrophysicist Sophie Kudmani. When asked whether these unexpectedly massive black holes could have originated from structures that predate the Big Bang, Kudmani, from the University of Cambridge, responded, The exciting thing about this question is that nothing is ruled out. She pointed out that some researchers suggest these enormous black holes must have formed through direct collapse, a theory supported by various scientific publications. If black holes can grow efficiently, they would have just enough time to evolve 
from a small seed. While Kudmani acknowledges that this is only one possible explanation, it introduces a groundbreaking idea that something may have existed before the Big Bang and consequently before our universe itself. The limitations of modern cosmology are further underscored by one of the very discoveries that sparked the current astronomical crisis. As early as February 2023, scientists announced the existence of six so-called impossible galaxies fully formed, as massive as the Milky Way, yet dating back over 13 billion years. This discovery directly contradicts established theories about matter density in the early universe and galaxy formation. Because of their apparent defiance of known physics, these enigmatic structures have earned the nickname Universe Breakers. It appears that some galaxies in the early universe were far more efficient at converting gas into stars than others. This was the conclusion reached by a research team from the University of Geneva, who analyzed three massive galaxies dubbed the Red Monsters due to their striking appearance in James Webb telescope images. According to prevailing theories, galaxies form gradually within halos of dark matter. These halos attract atoms and molecules through gravity, eventually leading to galaxy formation. Typically, only about 20% or less of the captured gas is transformed into stars. However, in the case of the red monsters, that figure jumps to an astonishing 50%. How these galaxies achieved such rapid star formation just one billion years after the Big Bang remains one of astronomy's great unsolved mysteries. One thing is certain, something in the earliest cosmic epochs must have triggered the remarkable growth of galaxies. But what if our assumptions are incorrect? What if the origins of the universe were not established with the Big Bang, but rather before it? This question lies at the heart of a revolutionary theory proposed by Roger Penrose. A Nobel Prize winning physicist and mathematician, Penrose argues that the universe is not a singular event, but a cyclical system. In his view, the Big Bang was not the absolute beginning, but merely a transition between two cosmic eras. According to this model, the universe continues expanding until all matter breaks down into pure radiation. Eventually, in an environment where space and time lose all meaning, a new Big Bang becomes inevitable, initiating yet another cosmic cycle. At the end of each cosmic cycle, even black holes will eventually evaporate, leaving behind a unique remnant that carries evidence of the previous universe into the next. According to Roger Penrose, these remnants dubbed Hawking points have already been detected in the cosmic microwave background. Specifically, Penrose points to numerous circular spots visible in data from both the Planck and WMAP satellites. To clarify, the CMB is a relic from the early universe, formed approximately 380,000 years after the Big Bang during the recombination epoch. This faint radiation still permeates the cosmos today. To grasp the significance of Hawking points, it is crucial to understand that Penrose's cyclic model suggests that cosmological inflation occurred before the Big Bang. Typically, inflation refers to a period of rapid expansion that took place immediately after the universe's formation. However, if this inflationary phase is instead positioned before the birth of our universe, it suggests that we are witnessing the exponentially expanding future of a previous cosmic era. From a mathematical and physical standpoint, the transition from one cosmic eon to the next is theoretically sound. However, supermassive black holes pose an interesting exception. By the end of each cosmic cycle, these giants would have absorbed most of their surrounding galaxy clusters before ultimately evaporating into Hawking radiation, leaving behind their telltale traces in the fabric of the next universe. As black holes evaporate at the end of a cosmic cycle, 
they would release their entire stored energy into the next universe in the form of a single Hawking point. The photons produced in this process would gradually spread across an expanding region, only becoming visible once they emerge in the microwave background radiation of the new cosmos. Theoretically, a Hawking point would appear as a disk the size of the full moon, and remarkably, data from CMB observations have revealed precisely such structures. More specifically, these mysterious spots align with multiples of the average CMB temperature fluctuations. Scientists had previously assumed that such features would have been erased by cosmological inflation, making their discovery all the more intriguing. Given this evidence alongside the numerous cosmic anomalies uncovered by the James Webb Telescope, one profound question arises. Could our universe not be a singular entity, but merely the latest iteration in an endless cycle? This is at the heart of an ongoing astronomical debate, one that remains far from settled. Yet, even if the universe truly follows an eternal cycle of destruction and rebirth, some of the most fundamental mysteries of existence remain unanswered. What then defined the very beginning of this cosmic cycle? Can there even be a starting point in something that is eternal? And will humanity ever fully comprehend the nature of the universe it inhabits? These are questions that remain unanswered for now. While the mysteries of the cosmos continue to unfold, one thing is certain. The search for knowledge never ends. Stay curious, stay engaged, and keep exploring the wonders of the universe.